from the station working for you. This is a WRTV update. Hello, I'm WRTV's Nicole Griffin and these are your latest headlines. A young man has died following gunfire on the city's northeast side. Police tell us the shooting happened around 2 this morning near 33rd and Ashland Drive. Officers believe the victim is between 16 and 21 years old. They say he ran into a neighboring yard after being shot. We are still waiting to learn the victim's identity. The Indiana Department of Child Services is investigating after reports of falsified drug screenings. DCS says the problems are linked to Tomo drug testing. DCS uses the company to process drug screens from parents, guardians, and in some cases, juveniles. Those screenings are used when there is an allegation of substance abuse in the report of child abuse or neglect. An internal investigation is now underway to determine the impact to individual cases. After pulling the plug on one of Eli Lilly's antibody studies, the government has struck a deal with the Indianapolis company for promising results of another study. The antibody treatment did not seem to work for people already hospitalized with COVID-19, but the treatment may be able to prevent hospitalizations. The deal is pending the FDA's approval of emergency use authorization. Todd. Finally, a dry day for us to dry out here across central Indiana after a very wet week. Temperatures today will be on the cool side in the 40s and 50s. This evening, you've got plans on Friday night with clear skies will cool off very, very quickly from the 40s into the 30s. So make sure you bundle up and then for your Halloween, it's a bright day. You notice the wind does pick up as we get into the afternoon hours with high temperatures that will eventually be topping off in the mid to upper 50s. Todd, thank you. For more weather and stories that you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.